In this video, we are going to see how you can move your products automatically from one location to another. And this will be achieved by creating a new route containing a push rule. So let's switch to our Odoo instance. And let's go first in configuration, routes. And we create a new route, which is called WH stock direction WH stock rack number one. We apply this route on the products. And here we are going to add a push rule. And the operation name of this push rule will be WH stock direction WH stock rack number one. The source location will be WH stock. the destination location will be WH stock rack number one. The type of this new operation will be Voodoo internal transfer. And it won't be an automatic move, but a manual operation. We save and close. and we save this new route. Now we have to make sure that this route is applied on a specific product. So we go in products, we click wood panel 300, we edit this product and in procurement, we check the box of our newly created route WH stock direction, WH stock rack number one. We save the change. Now we go to the purchases app and we create a purchase order for Woody Woodpecker. And we are going to buy 10 units of wood panel 300. We save the purchase order and we confirm the purchase order. Now if we go back to the all operations Kanban view, we have in the Voodoo internal transfer, an internal transfer which is waiting for another operation. And this other operation is the recept of the product in our main stock location, WH stock. So we are first going to process our incoming shipment, which is ready. And we are going to process it using the barcode interface. So first we are going to receive the 10 units of wood panel 300 from our supplier in our main stock location, WH stock. So we set the quantity to 10. We put in cart. And because the internal transfer is a chained operation, the barcode interface offers us the possibility to directly process this internal transfer. And as you can see, this internal transfer goes from WH stock to WH stock rack number one. So we set the quantity to 10 and we put in card. And since there is no operation left, 
we can go back to the Kanban view, the all operations Kanban view. 